Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tech Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Wix versus WordPress for blogging. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now in today's video, we will be doing a comparison between Wix.com and WordPress over here. We will be creating a new website from scratch on each platform, and at the end of the video, we will be expressing how we feel how it felt when creating our blogging website and we will be giving our opinion on which website is the best for blogging and also you could use the entire video to judge which process is much more easier than the other so we will be starting with wix.com over here we will be creating our blogging website in wix first followed by doing it on wordpress we're not going to be doing an in-depth creation of a website we will be doing the general creation. We're not going to go into the details, such as the settings and the details, but we're going to do the process of creating it. And then of course, the process of doing the other things are mainly for you to figure out and for you to process. But we will still be showing them and explaining them how you will be able to do that. So let's start with Wix.com. The first thing you're going to have to have is of course, have your own account. After that, this is what you're going to see. In this section, this is where you will be able to see all the different sites that you have. As you can see, these are my different websites. But to be able to create a new website, you're simply going to click on create new site over here on the top right side. When you click this, we will be redirected to another page. Now there is a lot of process. It's not difficult, so don't worry, but there's a lot of process when creating a website. But Let's show you how to be able to do it. As you can see here, we have two options. There, right now, there is a new Wix editor called Wix Studio, but we're not going to be exploring the new version right now. We're simply going to stick to the Wix editor, the classic Wix builder. So we're simply going to click this for now, and let's proceed to the next step. And as you can see, let's wait for it. There we go. We're going to be asked a series of questions so that Wix will be able to provide help to us later on, specifically for the type of website that we are doing. For example, for the online store, if we select this, the options and the templates that we will be seeing later on in the video will be specifically for online store. Now, our website will be about blogging. As you can see here, we have the option blog over here. So simply select this and you could go and click on next. But as you can see here, you will be able to put a more specific information for the type of blog. As you can see, there are different types of blog over here like sports blog, pet blog, movie blog. Depending on the type of blog website you're trying to create, you could search up over here and have that as an option or select that option for you to use. But if you haven't decided yet on what type of blog, you can simply stick with blog over here and click on next. And let's proceed to the next step. The next step asks us about our website name. You could change it anytime so you don't have to worry about it right away. But for us, let's go with blog. Okay, testing for now. And click on next. And let's proceed to the next step. And there we go, you will be shown the different applications or features that you could have for your website. As you can see, the blog over here is already built in. You could have a chat feature. You could also have an Instagram feature or even have forms. There's a lot of different features here that you could utilize. You could explore them one by one. And depending on which feature you want to appear on your blog website, you can simply select them. For example, you want to have a forum, you can enable that and you will be able to add a forum on your blog website. So for us, we're going to stick with the built-in one and the forum option over here. After that, simply click on next once again, we'll be able to proceed to the next step. And in this next step, as you can see, you can either start setting up our website in the dashboard where you will be able to see like the site settings, analytics, communications and more or you could start designing your website. Let's start with designing our website first. Let's click on begin with a template. And by clicking this, we will be able to move on to the templates page as you can see here. 
it will show you all the templates they have that is related to blogs which is very useful and there are specific classifications like i told you if you have a specific blog classification in mind it will show you the similar or the specific blog for that for example if you chose fashion you have this fashion blog option over here and this one over here as well now you could use this specific blog template and not use it for fashion of course you could edit the different things but if you are trying to build a specific blog content having or choosing a specific template will allow you to customize and finish your website much quicker but for us for example let's go with this fashion blog simply click on edit over here and you will be able to edit the template and every information within it now it might take a while as you can see it's going to take a while to set up our editing page so let's go back here on the home page let's check out our dashboard let me refresh our wix over here and let's check out the dashboard for our newly created website and let's see is it still here i don't think it's still here or it's not here yet so it's not going to be finished but let's wait for this to finish for now and there we go this is our website editor over here this is how or this is what you're going to see when you're editing your website as you can see right now it's adding the wix forum because we have selected forum early on the more app or the more feature you selected of course the longer this setup was going to take so only add the necessary stuff and to save you time and effort do not add stuff that you aren't really going to use in the future for example the chat feature if you're not really going to be using that or interacting with it you should not add that to your website and let's wait for it and there we go it's going to give us like a quick uh tutorial on the different things that we can use the different features you have your elements section page and new site design add apps and my business and media and cms over here and to add different things on our website as you can see this is our website over here you can simply utilize the things that you are seeing right now over here on the left side like the different elements uh sections over here edit the page and menus that you have and your site designs over here as well very easy and let's see if we will be able to check out our dashboard now let's refresh our wix.com over here click on my site and there we go we have our website over here like this and we will be able to see the dashboard in this section also as you can see here uh these parts over here are all links so when they click this they will be redirected to another page you could change the page that you are editing when you click on this option over here right now this is the home and let's zoom in over here simply select the specific page that you want to edit uh let's see click on post over here and let's zoom out and this is a specific page of where your post will appear and you can check out the different pages over here you could edit the pages over here in the dashboard in this section as you can see you have your blog options over here you could edit your posts comments categories tags writers and monetization it's very easy you will be able to find everything in one area you won't really get lost and the best thing about this is the only thing you need to pay is of course the domain that you will be using for when you publish your website and you will be able to publish it by simply clicking it here on the top right you will be able to do that and of course you have to connect your domain over here in the center and it's very easy to utilize this platform i think this is perfect for beginners for those who are first time creating a website and it is very easy to navigate their ui now over here on wordpress personally i think wordpress is for people who know more about the technical things because in wordpress there are a lot of things that you could do a lot of confusing parts personally i find it confusing to use this sometimes but let's go and create a new site a new site over here and as you can see we have to choose our domain let's go and say blogging uh and then let's give it a name see i guess there we go then uh, you could choose the different suggested domain over here as you can see uh let's go with the wordpress for now and as you can see here we have our plans you have all of this plans for wordpress 
you could use the free version but there is a lot of things that you won't be able to use especially domains or rather especially the plugins because plugins play a big part for creating a website in wordpress that is fully functional so if you have some extra income or if you have some cash uh, you could subscribe to one of this we have personal premium business commerce enterprise options over here let's go ahead and start for free over here turning on the lights let's wait for this to load and as you can see and now what are our goals we are trying to write and publish this is for blogging and we have our blog name over here let's go with blog testing for now testing and click on continue and over here as you can see you can start writing your draft right away you could also watch blogging videos and you could also design right away and let's go and click on start writing and right away you will be able to create the content of your blog you will be able to create it in this page over here let's wait for our wordpress to load so we can demonstrate it and there we go you can simply edit your content over here put everything you need you will be able to add blocks over here on the left side and as you can see here you have your the newsletter visibility categories tags featured image everything is everything everything is over here you will be able to add elements by clicking this plus button over here on the top left you will be able to add paragraphs lists quotes codes uh all of these features that you are seeing right now you will be able to add images all of it you can simply drag it into your uh, part over here you will be able to build your blog with ease and let's go back to our uh home page over here let's go proceed to the next step that is how you will be able to create the blog itself and as you can see you will be able to have this this is our design for now click on launch your website and that's pretty much it it's very easy and straightforward but there will be some hurdles that you will encounter along the way like for example i said earlier you would need to upgrade your account to do a lot of the different uh features like plans add-ons domains purchases all of those if ever you would like to add more features to your website you would need to upgrade it like the plugins over here these are the plugins that you could add there's a lot of plugins that would be very useful especially for designing your website or even adding some extra features to your blog website but you would need to pay for that to be able to use it you could edit the appearance over here on this area you could choose the theme of your website and change the appearance all of the stuff you have your tools over here marketing earned and advertising import and export and over here we have our pages our posts our media uh, for our blog post you can simply add it over here add new posts and do the process that we shown you earlier very easy and straightforward and as you can see we're back here again and you can simply click on the plus button over here to add all the different things and simply publish it to your website and it's very easy that's basically it for the wordpress aside from the very complicated setup and other things that is the most basic way to present how you will be able to do it over here there's quick links over here on the right side like edit site write blog post promote with blaze so you could utilize this as well now my opinion like i said earlier i like wix more i find it easier to navigate and the ui is much more easier for me to play around with edit the different things than in wordpress and wordpress is for a more experience or someone who is able to easily understand how to use wordpress so if you want the challenge you will be able to do more in wordpress of course because you have or you are able to edit a lot of the things you could use wordpress but if you are a beginner with no experience i suggest that you use wix.com so that's it for now hope you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching